Howdy folks, we have the Maytag F765 wing board mounted on my big uh, bush mule. I picked the biggest and most complicated plane I have so that I can use uh, some of the extra servo outputs. Uh, I have the pitot tube airspeed sensor on the front here. Seems to be missing its knob at the front. That's a pity. Uh, I have, I have uh, FPV camera on the top and another one down on the side so I can switch between the two. I have flaps. Uh, I have pan and tilt mount for the FPV on a head tracker. Uh, I did have the uh, bomb door opening but all my wires were falling out so <laughs> I've uh, disconnected that one but that's enough to go on with. Let's see how this amazing board functions. Do a bit of a line of sight flight first. Bit of wind around. I think it might be a bit tail heavy too. Probably should do something about that. Manual mode, that's in uh, air mode now, or that's in acro mode, that's seems to be flying nicely. Nicely stabilized against the wind. So I'll just uh, test a return to home as well. Try it again without so much aggressive. There you go, return to launch. That kicked it a bit. But it is coming back. Maybe I need to do climb first or something. Yeah, that's come back to me and circling above my head, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let's... I might move the centre of gravity back a bit. Oh, sorry. Move the centre of gravity forward a bit. And uh, do some FPV. Hard not to bounce this plane. All right, let's go for FPV and head tracking and switchable camera. Head tracker is on. Nice. Camera on. Switching to the other camera. Very good. Airspeed is, <laughs> yeah, it's picking up the airspeed. All right, so let's go. I'll turn this off to start off with. And we'll take off. Get it up to a reasonable height. And we're in the goggles. Nice view. FPV. And we've got the head tracker on. Alright, there we are. There we are. Oh, this is lovely. Let's go over there in acro mode. It's feeling pretty good. There I am up there. Wow. Airspeed. 26 ground speed 52. I wonder is that working? How's this view? <laughs> Very cool. Wow, look at that. They are shooting over there at the gun club, so I'm going to stay away from that area. Look out the back. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Excellent. I'm loving it. Don't know if my airspeed's working properly. I think I lost a little tip off the front of it, which must be affecting it. Angle mode. Angle mode. 
here at Chopper. I better stay down low. So all these extra servo outputs can handle the head tracker, uh, pan and tilt, flaps, switchable camera. Angle mode. Great stuff. Camera on. Camera on. <laughs> That's a good view too. Should try and get myself in the shot. No, I'm not going to do it. Swampy patch down there. <laughs> this is great. What a view. Being pushed sideways by the wind. Straight over my head. Looking around. Angle mode so I can put my camera on. This is cool. Uh, really enjoying this. Gee, this plane sucks through the juice pretty quickly though. <laughs> Alright, I'm impressed with this board. There's uh, can't see any sort of voltage interference in the screen. Looks really nicely filtered. Done about the airspeed indicator. I'm not sure I've got that working properly. Seems to be constant at. Oh no, that probably would be increased speed. Yeah, probably is working actually. But it's saying the ground speed is a lot more than my uh, airspeed. Voltage low. Just because it sucks a lot of juice. Let's try into the wind. Actually, we're going crosswind, so yeah, it probably, probably is working okay. Pretty slow flying plane, this one. Into the wind and see if we can get the airspeed and the ground speed closer. Yeah, closer now. That doesn't make sense though. It should be... Maybe I need to scale it or something. There's lovely clouds up there. Enjoying this. There's nothing you can't throw at this board. Need bigger batteries though from a bush mill. Alright, let's try and land it. So hard to land these planes. Bounce. No, oh, we did all right. Not too bad at all. Very cool. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I like this head tracking. Well, I have to say it is a very impressive board. It can handle anything you can throw at it. Not sure about my pitot tube, if that's working properly, I'll have to investigate that a bit more. Very easy to hook up, but maybe I need some scaling, maybe I need to find the little tip that goes on the front. Uh, but the board with its uh, 10 servo outputs, I'm not even using all of them. So I have another two servo functions I can muck around with. <laughs> Can't even think what to do with them really. But yeah, very impressive board. Biggest and the best, the Matek F765 wing. What a ripper. Thanks for watching.